Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for my Wednesday straight shave. Apologies for Monday. <clears throat> I just had too much to do. I couldn't find the time to do the shave and then upload it and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> I had to give it a miss on Monday. Um, today's straight shave is with a shave S and it is, I think this is sh straight shave number 79. I'll correct it if I'm wrong up there. Um, the hardware today is my um, Life Venture Ellipse Shaving Bowl from Amazon. It, it, it's, it's my favorite plastic and travel bowl. Absolutely brilliant. The brush um, is my Botty brush, and this is the synthetic version. Really nice and soft, really nice knot this, so um, feels like quality. So that's that one. And then the razor is my Kismet. So with a, um, with a Kismet blade in it. So there you go, that's the razor. Nice, cheap and cheerful. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna start doing some more budget featured um, shaves. Certainly feature, all the, all the shaves in the future will probably, or not, in the, not indefinitely, but they will probably all feature at least two or three items that are budget. And this is definitely budget. You can buy this on Amazon. I forget how much it is. I'll put the price up there. Um, but this is, you know, and I'll put a link below. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a link to to Amazon to, to the page that I look at it or where I bought it from. And that would be a UK. Um, but if you just put in the description in your own uh, country, and you, if you've got Amazon or anything else, then um, <clears throat> just put that description in and it'll come up. So it's, it's quite a cheap uh, shavette, and it's probably the shavette I'd, I'd recommend someone to start with if they're gonna buy a shavette, because it's probably about a fifth of the price of the um, Feather ASD2. So um, anyway, it, it looks a beast, but it, it shaves really well. Um, so that's the hardware. I'm gonna do my usual thing. I'm gonna get ready for the shave, and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all uh, lathered up. <laughs> I've just got to put the the pre-shave on. So, and I'll show you the soap. It's a, it's a soap that I've used recently, but only as a sample. So now I've got a full tub of it. You will probably have noticed what it is from the uh, intro, intro photo that I take. Um, but I'm starting off with my usual aroma bar uh, this is cedarwood, sandalwood, patchouli and lemon. So I, I do really enjoy using this for straight shaves. It really does the job. So just rub it in. It's one squirt, that's all you need. And you just rub it in to your face. Fantastic. And I, as I say, the scent has grown on me. At first, when I first bought this, I, I wasn't sure about the scent, um, but I, I do, it has grown on me and I do enjoy using it. So the soap today, um, and I got a bit of a discount because apparently I was the first to, to really shout this out on YouTube. It was a rec recommendation from Stuart that I found this soap, um, but it's Seaside Soap and Skin Care and this one is pine, vetiver and patchouli. So, and it's the full tub. This is the pour. And as you can see, I've taken a very small amount out for, if you look at my finger, it's, it's actually, it's about half a spoon, half of this little shovel spoon that I use. Um, it literally is just the tip down to about the halfway point. Um, that's all I use. So I would say that's about a quarter of a teaspoon. But it comes in a metal container, a metal tub, and really, really nice. Really like that. <clears throat> so, anyway, lathers up really easily. This is looking a bit bubbly. I've probably put too much water in here. Let me just give this a bit more of a
lather. I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I think I've just overdone it with the water a bit. Right, let's put my glasses down and let's go for it. Let's, I'm not going to add any more water to the face. Let's just see how this goes on. Oh yeah. And the scent hits you straight away. Such a nice, I get patchouli, I get the lime. Um, it, it is a very, very nice fragrance, this. Oh yeah. I don't know why, but it kind of makes me think of a church. <laughs> the, the, you know the wooden benches you get in the British churches, the old churches and the smell they give off, it sort of reminds me a little bit of that. <clears throat> No, really nice, really, really nice. Okay, here, here we go with the Kismet. I think this is called a Kismet Hair Shaper, uh, if you're looking for it on Amazon. But as I say, I'll put the link in, in the description below. So spine down, blade down, and then just bring the spine out. Oh, that feels great. so smooth in comparison to uh, that beast of a razor that I used on Saturday. Um, the Rolls razor. This feels so much smoother. No tugging at all, really smooth. Fantastic. I was going to use my VEC, but I just thought I'd, I'd mentioned that I was going to do some budget shaves, which I will start doing probably on Saturday will, will be the start of it officially. But this is a budget razor. I mean, as I said, I, I've put the price up, so it really is cheap and cheerful. And the blades, yeah, they might cost quite a bit more, but they last so they last forever, at least 10 shaves, if not 14. And I find this really easy to manoeuvre. It, it, it really is. Very, you know, it's very easy to use in my opinion. It looks like a beast, but trust me. Once you've mastered the technique of using a straight razor, this is a breeze. You know, I was quite nervous the first time I used the, the VEC, but no more. These are great, these are. You've just got to remember to keep the, the angle very shallow to your face. So it's almost, let's see if you can, if I can line that up and then you just bring it out like that. Just a slight sort of almost double the width of the of the spine of the razor. <clears throat> and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this looks a lot better. And this brush, even even though it's um a synthetic. I think this actually needs more water. It's absorbing the water a bit, but I'm just going to carry on. It's got a, it's still got a sheen to it, so feels great. But this brush has got plenty of backbone. Be happy to use this on a triple mill soap. And I think you know there is a difference between Botty and Yaki. I think Botty brushes. Well, certainly this brush feels like it's a, a, a level up from, from the Yaki brush. The Yaki brush is probably, is, well, it is cheaper and it, and it does the job. But this just feels, you know, just feels better quality. So, cross the grain straight up.
very light touch. I love using this razor. Any razor that uses the Kismet blade in it <laughs> is brilliant. Wow. This is probably only the third or fourth use on this blade. Feels super sharp. She knows. Oh yeah. Fantastic. love using this. Right, here we go. I'm going to add water this time. <clears throat> so what are you guys shaving with this week? What's been your favourite shave so far this week? And are you looking forward to a special razor? Sh you know, is there a special shave coming up? You know, one of you, maybe your favourite razor or your favourite soap or both. Um, I've got to do my magnificent eleven <laughs> shave number eleven, um, which I think is the cannot be ignored category. I'm doing that on Saturday. So yeah, I can't do a budget. I can't do a budget shave apart from maybe I'll use budget um, soap splashes and things like that. Because the razor I'm using, I wouldn't consider to be a budget razor. <clears throat> so, and of course I've got my head shave on Friday. I don't know what I'm going to use for that. I might just go ahead with my leaf because I don't think I've used that for a while. Um, Okay, against the grain. Fantastic. <clears throat> Dropping off me now, this lather. almost as meditative I'll say that when you've had a few um, as a head shave when you use a straight razor like this out of all my shavettes this style shavette is my favorite so the VEC or this Kismet I love them I absolutely love using these I've got a Litz razor as well. I haven't used that in a while. 
Mind you, I had to adapt that a little bit. Brilliant. Oh, must have nicked myself. Just a little weeper. It's not a cut. That's the other thing I like about using a shavette is you can completely immerse it in water especially one with plastic scales like this it, it, it's fine you do that with a straight razor especially a vintage one and a wooden wooden scaled one yeah you, you might live to regret that um, so let's have a look let's just have a feel around I'm definitely going to do a pickup pass There's next to nothing left. A little bit here as usual, a little bit of Velcro, but here next to it's almost BBS. And up here a little bit, that's got to be redone a little bit. But other than that, you know, you could quite happily stop there. I'm just going to rinse off my face cloth. So I hope you've achieved everything you wanted to achieve so far this week or you're well on your way to doing it. Um, and that you've, you're have you already sort of planning what you're doing. I mean, it's, I always think of once it's gone past lunchtime on a Wednesday, it's you're on your way to the weekend. <laughs> feels great I love this brush I must admit I might I might have to invest in a few more but I've got so many brushes already I'm not sure I, I need any more but I think Botty are worth investing in to be honest they did send me that for review ages ago so That feels amazing. It is a really comfortable shave using one of these. Once you know what you're doing. Fantastic. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> that, apart from here again, is BBS. Um, I'm not going to show, I got a a couple of comments about me using a Mac 3 just to touch up that area. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use my vector like I did the other day. Because <clears throat> that's preloaded and ready to go. So this is all I do. BBS. 
That's it. All done. Right, I'm going to get myself ready for the post shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Post shave feel, skin feel, amazing. Really great. I mean, that Seaside Soap and Skin Care Soap is right up there with Wickham's and Signature <clears throat> and Goodfellow Smile. Um, I just find they're the, probably the slicker soaps um, that, I, that I've got in my den. Um, there are others out there that will obviously compare, but they just don't come to mind at the moment. Um, Sterling is brilliant value for money, considering how many cents they've got from the US. But I don't think it's got the slickness of, of these. Um, these, I wouldn't say they're in another league. They're, they're, we're really talking about small margins, but I do think that Signature Soaps, Wickham Soaps, Seaside Soap, soap and Skin Care and Goodfellow Smiles are all slicker than Sterling. Um, Ariana and Evans, I haven't used the Ariana and Evans since summer, so I couldn't tell you. But I, I, I just hide them in very, I, I have them or hold them in very high regard, those soaps. So, oh, fantastic. Right, stop waffling on. Cold rinse time. feels great. Shall I use the alum? Why not? Why not? Let's see how it behaves, but I don't think it's going to really sting. It might sting a bit, but let's see. Mm, a little bit of sting here. Two out of ten. And that's it. It's stinging a little bit around my problem area. That's that's where it's stinging, and that could be down to the vector. So, but everywhere else feels great. Um, no real sting to that. Um, I'd say it's a two out of ten around there. But. Nothing to write home about. Boots, tea tree and witch hazel. The usual. Oh God, I've forgotten the astringent. That's it, the usual astringent that I use. And there's no sting with that either. Not even down here. So that's brilliant. And then I haven't used this in ages. So it's about time this was revisited. So this is the Boots Freshwood Aftershave and the balm. And this is really budget. It's a few pounds from Boots. It's nothing. And it's got a great scent to it. For me anyway, I love it. You could call it an old fashioned scent, but I, I really enjoy it. Um, and then the Freshwood Aftershave Balm. give this a shake because it hasn't been used for quite a long time <clears throat> and that's all I'm going to use so probably too much but that's fine I always put it on my dome as well oh yeah And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of today's straight shave. I'll see you now on, yeah, Friday for my next head shave, and then Saturday's the last of the Magnificent 11. So it'll be a week on Saturday when I start some of my budget shaves. And you can probably guess some of the candidates that I'm going to show. <clears throat> anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you on Friday. Bye now.